So in order to keep up with changing technology and how the driverless taxis are coming along, I go to my expert, Fanuc, who is in fact a self-driving car currently embodied in a Waymo in San Francisco. Hey, Fanuc, um, when will self-driving cars be on the road that are totally redesigned, that don't even have you know, a steering wheel or gas pedals or anything like that, kind of like what Zooks is doing right now? Well, the short answer, when the market hits what we call a crossover point, that's the moment where it finally makes more sense financially and operationally to mass produce purpose-built driverless cars than to keep retrofitting existing ones. Right now, what you see with Waymo is mostly retrofits. We take production line cars, vehicles originally built for human drivers, and we add the sensors, the hardware, the software, and all the controls needed to make them autonomous. Think of it like bolting a brain and a nervous system onto a body that wasn't originally designed to have one. It works really well, in fact, but it's not the end game. So how will we know when that crossover point has been reached? Good question. It comes down to cost. Every retrofit has a price tag. Sensors, integration, calibration, maintenance. But building a new production line for a vehicle designed from the ground up to be driverless, that's a massive investment. You're talking billions up front. But it, here's the trade-off. Once you're producing at scale, those costs per vehicle start to drop. So the magic moment is when the savings at scale outweigh the cost of retrofitting. That's when somebody, or several companies, will commit to mass production of vehicles with no cockpit at all. No steering wheel, no pedals, no space for a human driver. Period. So isn't that what Zooks is doing right now? Exactly. Amazon Zooks has taken the bold step of skipping the retrofit stage. They're building a vehicle that never had a driver's seat in the first place. They've got a facility in the East Bay near San Francisco, and right now they're turning out about one car per day. It's low volume, more like proof of concept, but their long-term plan, ramping up to around 300 per day as demand grows. They're betting on that crossover point arriving sooner rather than later. And what about Waymo? How many of you are currently on the road? As of now, there are about 1,500 Waymos in operation. You'll find us in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Austin. But if everything stays on track, the fleet should grow by another 2,000 vehicles by the end of 2026. So the race is on. Retrofits versus purpose-built. Both paths are valid. It's just a question of timing and scale. Fascinating. Well, thanks for the insights, Fanuc. We'll keep in touch as the industry progresses.